Hello everyone and welcome, my name is Vincent and this is another quick tutorial in which I want to wrap some strings around stones and make them spin it in Cinema 4D. So let's recreate this. Therefore, let's switch to a new one. I already copied my stones. I didn't do much. I have two objects and they are rotating 180 degrees over the axis and a little bit of the other. So this is quite easy. That's a good start. When you have animated your two objects, then you need to go to simulation text and go for rigid body. The object should still turn around and spin around, but they shouldn't follow the position. Therefore, we need to give the objects a follow rotation of 4. That means our stones are now dynamic. Let's check if they're still animating, and they do. And by the way, I gave a few extra frames in the beginning. You can see the animation starts a bit later, so that our rope has time to wrap around. Let's close the animation here. Let's have a look onto our rope. So I created one rectangle and then a rectangle sweep. So I'm sweeping this little rectangle around the big one. Let's see our polygons here. This is looking good. And you have to play around to see what values fit good for you and which numbers are working for you. Also, let's quickly press Command D to go into simulation settings. We definitely need more passes for the collision and I'll also give myself five extra steps. Also, the scene is quite small, so let's make the scene scale 3 centimeters. Perhaps you can already increase the sub-steps because the simulation is quite difficult to run. Let's save the scene. Then as a next step, select the sweep nerve, right-click on it, go to simulation tag, go to soft body. In the soft body, we can already change a few settings. Let's make the bending is 50, the stretching is 5, the thickness 0.1, and let's hide our line. Cool, let's press save because simulation is always tricky. Go back to frame zero plus play and see what's happening. So not much is happening. First of all, we need to adjust our object fits more into the center. Then you need to check if on frame zero we are, we are avoiding any intersections and this is looking good. A last thing now, we need to shrink our whole object. Therefore, let's set a keyframe on frame zero, give it 10 frames and let's make it, let's say 60%. So the rope or the ribbon gets squished down and you can see that there's a weird thing happening. There's a huge gap and this is because we didn't adjust our collision margin of the rigid body. So go to the rigid one, the two objects you have animated, go to collision, change the default value from 1.5 to 0.1. I'm changing this because the scene is super small. Let's press play and see what happens. Now it looks pretty good. The objects are rotating and you can see they are still crashing and bumping into each other. And that looks pretty good. But let's say stones are flying too much around. So let's go to follow position, make it 0.5 and follow rotation 5. And also the rope was not sticky enough. So let's increase the friction to 5 and the stickiness to 1. Let's press save, go back to frame 0 and press play. This looks already pretty cool, but I want to tweak a few things. First of all, I want to make this a bit higher. Second of all, it's always nice to have more than one object, so let's duplicate it and press play. Now we just need to fine tune the steps and the animation. For example, this one is sliding over the stone. That means let's slide a little bit more down. Then we are ready to go. Let's go into the cache and cache the scene. Once again, you made it to the end. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you understand everything. And well, if it's too complicated, you can always check out my Patreon. There's like more information about all these topics. But yeah, thanks for watching and bye bye.